Welcome, this is Noah's Ark Nursery. I am Karina, I am the mommy. Welcome if this is your first time. Welcome if you're coming back, welcome back. Welcome to the Ark today, guys. Thanks for stopping by and hanging out with us. We really appreciate you stopping by and hanging out. Hope you have a great day today, that you all have had a great start to your weekend and that you all are well. I see you, Mom. Jeremiah's rolling around on the floor. You guys, he just stopped. Now he's going for his ball. Yeah, here goes the whole thing. And he's trying to he's take Mom's blanket off. off. You guys got to see this before we get, look at that. Look at Jeremiah stealing Grandmom's blanket. And Grandmom's got to put her blanket back on. So, anyway, Grandmom's going to put her blanket back on, as you can see. <laughs> She's just like, whatever. She put the blanket over him. You guys got to see this. Look at that. She put the blanket over him. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. She put the blanket over him. That's him. That's Jeremiah. Right there. And he's in a package. <laughs> you see he's got his ball right in front of him? Hey, not Jeremiah me. and a blanket. Not me. Get out of here. Okay, okay, guys. Look at okay, guys. Sorry about that. If you're new here, we do daily prayer time here at Noah's Ark. So if you ever have any prayer requests. Look, it's yours. It's in yours. Look, Hold on, guys. It. We're observing Jeremiah playing. I'd open that up and put it in there nicely that he can't get it. Look at that. And of course, Daddy in his work clothes. Steve just got home from work, guys. Jeremiah's over there having a good time, this isn't he? Is warm and he's just having a good time. Nice. I know it is, Mom. He um he's having a good old time over there. But anyway, as I was saying, we start we start we normally start our our videos off with prayer time. If you ever have any prayer requests, please feel free to add it to our comment board and we will pray over it with you. I do have an update on Donnie. Um Karen texted me a little while ago. Donnie was moved from the ER to the main floor. He was found all responsive. He coded. They, they, they brought him back. Moved him to cardiac ICU. He coded again. They now have him hey, in, in two st He's pulling everything off of me. Coma on a ventilator. He comes over and he To protect pulls. his brain, to help bring his, to help his brain, to cool his body down, to help his brain and his brain flow. Um, to protect everything, to protect his brain. Um, we really need to pray for them, the whole family. Um, but pray for Donnie. We need to ask the Lord to sustain Donnie, to be with Karen and Josh and Jacob at this point, just to give him the peace of Pethos understanding and let, him, let them know that he is there. He is there with them every step of the way, guys. Um... So let's pray. Let's go to the Lord in prayer, shall we? Let's pray, guys. Dear Heavenly Father, we come before your throne of grace. We come before you and we just praise you. We just thank you for who you are. We thank you, Father, that you are our way maker, our miracle worker, our promise keeper, our light in the darkness. Father, when everything seems to be dark and bleak and uncertain, we can come to you and you are there. You give us the peace that path us all understanding and that you speak your shalom to us and you just give us that reassurance that you are there. We just thank you for that. We just pray now. Father God, I, I, I come before you with Donnie. I just, pr I just bring Donnie before you. I bring Karen and Jacob and Josh before you. Father, I just pray first of all as Donnie is in the hospital on the ventilator. Father, you know what's going on. You know. Give the doctors the wisdom and the discernment. Be with Karen and J Jacob and Josh as they are in the waiting room as they are waiting as the only thing they can do now is wait i just pray that you'll be with them give them all the peace that path is understanding give donnie even now at the peace that path is understanding as i just pray that you'll be with him that your healing hand will be upon donnie today that that you will strengthen donnie that you will be with karen and jacob and josh strengthen them I just pray, Father God, that you'll be with them today in Jesus' name. Just give them all the peace that path us all understanding. As they are going through this really rough time, 
carry them all through it, we pray in Jesus' name. Be with Donnie as he's on that ventilator. Protect his brain, Father. Protect the flow to the brain. Just, I pray, Father God, that he will be able to come off that ventilator in Jesus' name and that he will wake up and that he, he will just be with him, that you will just grant him more time. I just pray in Jesus' name that you will just be with him today. I pray, Father God, that you will just be with Karen as she has to make decisions. I just pray that you will give her the, the wisdom and the peace that Pethos saw understanding as she is making those decisions. Help them, help her to make them, Father. Let her know what your will is in Jesus' name. And Father, I do pray now that you will just be with all those who have, who have lost loved ones. I pray, Father, for, for Tanya as she has lost her husband, Michael. For Anne Marie and her family as they have lost her mother. For Shannon as she has lost her mother-in-law and her grandmother. I just pray, Father, that you will just be with each and every one of them. Give them your strength, your peace, the path is understanding. Carry them through this time of grief. Help them to heal. And we just pray that you will give them that reassurance. We just thank you for that reassurance that they will one day be reunited with their loved one. Father, I do pray now for all those on hospice. Father, I think of Christine's mother. I pray for Christine's mother as she is on hospice for end-stage Alzheimer's. I just pray that you'll be with her today. I pray, Father God, that she will have no pain that you will give her and her family the peace of Pathos understanding and that you will just give her a peaceful passing when it enters her time. And Jesus, you will come for her and you will usher her into glory yourself. And I just pray, Father, for, for my sister-in-law Stacy's mother as well. Father, I just pray for her. She is on hospice. Take any pain that she might have away. Father, they've only given her a short amount of time so I just pray that you'll be with her today I pray Father God that you'll just be with her family give them all the peace of Pethos understanding when it is her time I just pray that you'll be with her that you will give her a peaceful passing and that Father that you will come for her Jesus yourself we just ask this and Father I do pray for Stacy and her sisters I just pray for the entire family that you will just be with them today and I pray Father God now for everybody on cancer treatments today I pray for Lynn for Ken for Susan, for anyone else that is praying this prayer with me that might be on cancer treatments or knows somebody who is. I just pray that first of all, Father God, that you will take any pain that they have away in the name of Jesus. Father, as they are all battle ready, as they are all going to battle against this disease, I pray that they will win this battle because you are in it with them. In Jesus' name, we are coming against the cancer. I am just praying now for their pain. Take their pain away as they are on chemotherapy or radiation or both. I just pray that they will not have any side effects in the name of Jesus, that there will not be side effects there, but that they will have more good days than bad days. And Father God, that you will that you will just work healing in their body, that this chemotherapy and radiation will put them into remission. We just pray in Jesus' name. And Father, we are asking you now that you will just be with, with all those with with fibromyalgia and lupus today, I pray for Alice, for Becca, for Selena, for Dietra, for anyone else that has fibromyalgia today, I pray that you will just touch and heal them from the top of their heads to the soles of their feet. In Jesus' name, just give them no pain today. Give them no pain so that they will be able to do the things that they need to do today. In Jesus' name. And Father, I am asking you now for my sweet forever sister and forever best friend. I pray for her today. I pray that you will touch and heal her knee and back pain. Touch and heal her from the top of her head to the soles of her feet. Be with her today. Father God, I just pray that she will be able to do what she needs to do today in Jesus' name without having any pain and be able to enjoy what she needs to do today in Jesus' name. And Father, I do pray for Jim today. I pray for Jim. I pray as his blood pressure has been spiking. I pray that as it hasn't spiked in a while, that you will keep him hydrated, that you will keep him out of the heat, that you will keep, that you will keep him from his blood pressure spiking anymore, Father, in Jesus' name, that it will not spike anymore, but that you have taken care of that in Jesus' name. Give him a perfect 120 over 80. We just pray in Jesus' name. And Father, we are asking you now for, for Shauna. I pray for Shauna as she has her shortness of breath and her pain. I pray that you will continue to work on her shortness of breath and her pain, that you will continue to touch and heal her, we pray. In Jesus' name, we just pray that you will take that shortness of breath and her pain completely away. In Jesus' mighty name, And we are asking you for Megan today. I am praying the blood of Christ over Megan today. I am asking you to protect her from all wickedness, from all harm, from all evil today. In Jesus' name, just carry her through the day. Just put her in your loving arms and protect her, we pray. In Jesus' name. And Father, we are asking you now for for Kira. I am asking you for Kira, Father, as she has been, she has, 
She is looking to you to build her faith as she is bed bound and chair bound. I just pray that you will show her the hope that she has in you. Just show her the hope she has in you so much that she will, will radiate it to other people and be able to be a blessing to those other people in Jesus' name. And Father, I do pray for Laura's family member today as they have a desire to go on the mission field. I just pray that you'll be with them today. I pray, Father God, that you will just touch and heal them, first of all, from the top of their head to the soles of their feet. And I just pray, Father God, in the name of Jesus, that you'll be with them, that you'll bless them today. I pray, Father God, that you will just give them, just just be with them today, I pray in Jesus' name. And just open up the right door to the might mission field, that they will know where, where they are to go, and that you will make a way where there seems to be absolutely no way for them to go, and that you will even now begin to prepare the hearts of the people that they will be serving in Jesus' name and be ministering to. And Jesus, I just pray now in the name of Jesus, Father, that you will just be with 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 Alice and her sister as they are in your word today as they are looking to have their faith built today I just pray that you'll be with them today I just pray Father God as they draw closer to each other by being in your word that they will also most importantly draw closer to you that you will guide them through your word that Holy Spirit that you will lead them guide them and direct them in your word today in Jesus name and that you will teach them all things that they need to know and I just pray Father now in the name of Jesus that you will just be with with Tammy, my love, today, that you'll be with her today, that you'll just give her clear vision, that you'll walk through her, with her, through everything she needs to do so she can meet her deadline in Jesus' name. And Father, I deadlines that she needs to make. And Jesus, I just ask you, Father, in the name of Jesus, that you will just go ahead of her as she is going into get her eye shots. I just pray that you'll be with her today. I pray, Father God, that you will just, that you will just make her way clear, even now, that she will have no side effects and that she will leave that 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 office with clear vision that she walked in and that everything will go smoothly when she gets there in jesus name and for selena's surgery on wednesday i pray father god that you will go into that operating room with her you will be there as she gets her cataracts done i just pray that she will have clear vision that she will have clear vision from now until then and from then on that she will not have any more problems with her cataracts Father, I pray for her husband, Steve, as well, that you'll be with her. I pray, Father, God, him as well. I pray, Father, that you'll be with him. I pray, Father God, that you'll just help him with his, and that his new glasses will be helpful to, able to help his eyes in Jesus' name. And Father, for this woman by the name of Debbie that Selena has requested prayer for, I pray for her. Father, I don't know the situation, but you do. I just pray that you will just reach down, that you will meet that need, that you will be with that family, that that whatever it is that is going on, you know it. Work in that situation, we pray in Jesus' name. And Father, I do pray now for Patricia. I think of Patricia's unspoken request as well. I pray that you will continue to work in that unspoken request. I pray, Father God, that you will continue to give her the victory, that she will continue to see you giving her the victory each and every day, with each and every day, that she will see that victory that she has in you, in Jesus' name. And I just pray that you will just be with her today. I pray, Father God, also for Dorothy's daughter today. I pray as she is walking through something today, I pray that she'll be with her. I pray, Father God, that you'll just that you'll just give Dorothy and her husband the wisdom and the discernment that they will know exactly how to help their daughter today. Carry her through whatever she is going through today in Jesus' name. And I just pray, Father God, in the name of Jesus, that you will just be with that you will just be with them and that as they draw closer to each each other they will most importantly draw closer to you that this will bring everyone in that family closer to you in Jesus name and father I do pray now that you will just be with Colleen today I pray as Colleen and Lauren and Dave and her mom are looking at possibly not having a of losing their home I pray that you will make a way where there seems to be absolutely no way that they will not lose their home in Jesus name and father I do pray that that you will just be with each and every one of us with diabetes today. I pray for for Penny, for Keith, for Karen, for Donnie, for Sonia, for Colleen, for Paul, for Jim, for Jeff, for me, for anyone else praying this prayer with me, whether it be for, with diabetes or pre-diabetes, bring our blood sugars down. Keep our blood sugars very normal in Jesus' name. And Father God, I just pray that you will just touch and heal us from the top of our head to the soles of our feet that we might not have to worry about diabetes anymore. That we will have victory over this in Jesus' name. I just pray, Father, that we will all have victory over our diabetes today in Jesus' name. And Father, I do pray that you will just be with, <clears throat> that 
you would just be with each and every one of us having mental health issues today. I pray whether it be with DID, schizophrenia, Asperger's syndrome, PTSD, bipolar, depression, worry, fear, anxiety, anything, Father God, that we are having right now problems with. I just pray that you'll be with each and every one of us. I pray, Father God, for those of us who are struggling today. I pray for Christine, for Ann Kay, for Alice, for Maya, for, for Becca, for Jessica, for Stephanie, for Travis, for David, for Susie, for Anne Marie, for Ann Kay, for, for Mandy, for Anne, for, for me, for, for Deborah, for Donna, for Gina, for Kiki Ann, for anybody else, for Dorothy, for anybody else, Colleen, Lauren, for anybody else who is struggling, Father, that is that I did not mention, I just pray for them as well. Father God, I pray that first of all, as we have our triggers, and we will have our triggers, and they will come our way, I just pray that you will block those triggers, that you will carry us through those triggers in the name of Jesus. Strengthen us against those triggers as only you can do. Give us your peace, the path of understanding. Give us clear minds. I just pray that you will just wrap your loving arms around us. Give us your love, your peace, your joy. As the world does not understand when we have these problems, when we have these, these times, of struggle you do father god let us know let each and every person know that that you are there and that you care and that you understand our struggles and that you love us through them in jesus name and we just pray father god now that you will just be with Anne marie today i pray for Anne marie as <clears throat> she has chronic fatigue and muscle pain and for ali as well i just pray that you'll be with both of them that you will give them your strength and your energy today that they will be able to get much done without any pain or any exhaustion today and they will be able to do exactly what it is they want to do today and for noah father i am praying that you will just be with noah today i pray father god that that you will just help him with his pain take any pain that he might have away i pray father god that you will just be with him Father, I just pray that whatever the results were, that they were good results from that M from the ultrasound and that there is nothing really seriously wrong, but that that's something that they can correct in Jesus' name and that you will have the damage, that the damage will be repaired in Jesus' mighty name. And Father, I do pray for AD as she looks forward to May of 2025, but she also has this internship. I pray, Father God, that she, if she is to go to Washington, D.C., that she will hear about her housing. But if she is to stay here, she will know it. You will give her that ultimate peace that path us all understanding in that decision. That you will guide her, guide her steps even now into the internship that you want her to have. May it lead to a permanent job with great pay and great benefits after school is over with. Be with her today, this year. Give her a blessed year. Be with strawberry milk as well. Give her a blessed year. Go with her into her school year. I just pray in Jesus' name. Guide her steps as only you can do. And give her a blessed, wonderful school year. And Father, we are asking you also for j -Bo Gaming Lego Plus his Church. Father, as they are looking for a new church building, I just pray as they have outgrown the one that they have, I just pray that you will give them a building which they can grow into, but in an area that they can also be a blessing to many, that many will come to know you as their personal Lord and Savior, that they will be able to be a blessing to many in that area. And Father, I do pray that you will just help them find that building and that Father God, that you will give them the resources, that you will give them the, the, the financial resources, that they will not have to have a mortgage, they will not have to have rent, but that this building will be there free and clear so that they will be able to use their resources to bless and help others in Jesus' name. And Father, I do pray that you will just be with be with Aaron's hernia, touch and heal her hernia today. Take any pain she might have away. And Father, I do pray now that you will just be with each and every one of us today. Whether I mention the request or not, I just pray. I pray for Sonia and her concussion. I pray that you'll be with her today. I pray that you will touch and heal her. Give her a smooth, just touch and heal her concussion. Take it away. Take away any effects she has from that concussion today in Jesus' name. Any headaches, any blurry vision, anything. Father, any dizziness, anything that she has from this concussion, I just pray that you will just touch and heal her. Take it away in Jesus' name, mighty name. We just pray now that you will just be with each and every person today that has a need that I did not mention. I just pray for them. I just pray that you will meet that need according to your will and your riches and glory today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Okay, guys, now I've got something special because we are doing, okay, today we are doing late day Saturday. Let me, let me get this together here. While I, while I talk to you, I can do this. Um, we are doing play day Saturday, guys, and hosted by Patricia over Patricia's Dolly Dreams, but 
we are also going to do something special today because I have something to share with you, something new to share with you. Um, something that is very new that I want to share with you. But first, I'm going to set up the game that we're going to play. Um, you can hear it. You can probably figure out what it is. We played it many times. We're going to play it for a different reason today. Right, Olivia? I'm going to show you who I have with me first. Let me get her. Let me get this stuff done. Let me do this. I will take the green and yellow and she can have the red and the blue. Okay. First things first, guys. I have Miss Olivia here today with me. Well, first one I'm going to show you is Miss Olivia. Mama, that was not very good. That was not very good. No, Mama. No, Mama. Okay. Anyway, I have Miss Olivia. Now, this is the John Deere um, short, set, short romper. This is the romper with the John Deere tractor on it made for girls. It's pink with white polka dots. Of course, she has her hair in a ponytail, as always. And her sandals that Auntie Susie sent us. They look good with this outfit, actually, guys. Look. Look at this. Doesn't she look just precious and dear and really good? This looks really good with these outfits. These look really good with this outfit. But anyway, we are here. Olivia is going to help me do something, aren't you, Olivia? Yes, Mama. I'm helping Mama. She's helping Mama introduce a new Build-A-Bear. I asked, guys, I got a new Build-A-Bear last weekend. I've been hiding her, but we have to name her. So, here it goes. This is a Build-A-Bear. This is definitely a Build-A-Bear. You can see it on the tag. And right here, I figure this was a different Build-A-Bear, a pig. I don't even have a pig, but I got a pig now. Um. Anyway, I got it from a thrift store, guys. She is wearing, I don't quite know what's on here. It looks like a dog to me. Or a unicorn. Well, it doesn't look like a unicorn. It looks like a dog. But it's got, the dog has hearts on it. It's a blue shirt with with a skirt on it. That's all kinds of um, sequiny. But we have to name her. And Olivia and I have picked, I have picked out a name and Olivia picked out a name. Olivia, would you like to tell them what your name is? Yes, Mama. A pig is a piggy. So she's piggy. I like Ellie Mae. So, whoever is going to sit right here while we play Barnyard Bingo for who gets to name the pig. Okay, guys? Let me see if I can get this all down here. There you go. Now you guys can see it. Can you guys see it? Now, the, na the, the way we're going to play this is, I'm going to set Olivia here so you guys can see Olivia. Okay, guys, now, oh, I don't want to do that. Let me see if I can get this. So you guys, can you guys see this? Can you guys see the animals on here? I'll show you what's on the cards. This is what the cards look like. Each card has a pig on it, guys. Each one of these cards except for this one, has a pig on it. So, whoever, whoever gets bingo first, whoever gets bingo with all, both their cards full first, gets to name the pig. Gets to name our new Build-A-Bear pig. Is she going to be Piggy? Or is she going to be Ellie Mae? Let's see, guys. Okay, you ready, Miss Olivia? Yes, Mama. Come back here. Okay, I'm going to hold it so that you can do that. Okay, it's a yellow one. So it's for me. So this has to go back in here. Okay. Now. Guys, I want you to see Olivia playing, so here we go. Here you go, Miss Olivia. You're going to sit there and you're going to play. You're not going to sit on my lap. You're going to sit here and you're going to play. Okay, Mama. And this is red, so this is for Olivia. 
Guys, I have this turned around, I think. I have this turned around differently today. Okay, Miss Olivia. Oh, green for me. But it's a piggy. Sorry, guys. I'm kind of playing here. Steve works, so I really did not intend to. Blue. Man, neither one of us are getting our, our things. Here you go, Olivia. Finally, a blue one for Olivia. Let's see what it is. It is a cow. Olivia, what is that? A cow, Mama. Let me have it. Thank you, Mama. You're welcome, Olivia. And, of course, whoever it is just went flying. So, I want to keep the piggy up here because we have to name her yet. Okay, guys. Let me... You guys can see me doing it with my hands. I'm sorry, guys. This morning's been one of those mornings. I'm just going to do this with Olivia and have her put her thing there. Okay. Green. I got one. I got a cow, too. The cow came out. Okay, Olivia. There you go, sweet girl. Okay, Mama. I want you guys to see Olivia playing. You guys can't even see Olivia's face, can you? No, you can't see Olivia's face. Okay, right there. But if you look at Olivia's face, you can't see the cards. So I'm going to have to move both the cards over here. All the cards over here. I know. This is kind of gets moved around. Olivia got a hen. And of course she has a hen. So a red hen. So Olivia, put it on. You want mom to put it on. Okay. Here. We're going to go like this, guys. That way you can see it all. And I think I might start just doing this. Okay, this is my turn, and it's yellow. I know, I'm on the sofa, and it's not exactly easy to do it on the sofa either. I got a hen, too. This game is going very slow today, I know. Okay, Miss Olivia. Ah. Uh, yellow pig. But it goes back because it wasn't my turn. Now, I got a blue rooster. It goes back because it's not Olivia's turn. Okay, Olivia. Thank you, Mom. Ah. That was for that. Nope, it goes back. Ah, yellow pig. Yellow pig, guys. I know, we normally play this in a different fashion, guys. But, um... Oh, she got a red. What'd you get a red of, Olivia? What's that? A sheep, Mama. Here. Give me the sheep. There you go, girl. Now she's finally getting into the game. I'm telling you guys. Oh, look what I got. I got... A green piggy. Now, technically, this is a free space right here. Okay, guys? The only thing I have to get is the lamb now. And then I get to name the pig. Pig gets my name. The builder bear pig gets my name. If I don't get the sheep before Olivia gets all three of hers, then Olivia gets to name the piggy. Ah, Olivia got that. Okay, let me... Oh, but Olivia did get... I got a blue one. So this is Olivia's turn. This is Olivia's turn. Olivia did get a red... Moo cow. Okay, Mama. I'll put the moo cow down. So she's got one car full. Yeah. Guess what, guys? I get to name the pig. Because I got my yellow lamb. So I get to name the pig. Okay, Miss Olivia. 
We'll finish the game, though. And there's one more in there. She got the pig. But I get to name the pig. So, the pig's name is... Why won't that come out? Oh. I didn't know why that wouldn't come out, guys. So, anyway. And the hen. So, as you can see, all the cards are full. And I get to name the piggy. Oh, man, Mom. Mama, I wanted to name the piggy. I know, sweetheart, but I named the piggy instead, okay? So, anyway. I would like you all to meet the newest addition, Ellie Mae. This is Ellie Mae, guys. Say hi, Ellie Mae. So, anyway, we did... He built a bear and bingo. We did bingo to see who would name the build a bear. The piggy. The new addition. So anyway, guys, I hope that you enjoyed our game. I hope that you saw our game. Um, I know it wasn't ideal because it was on the sofa. I was going to go over to the table and it would have been a little bit easier. But when have I ever done anything that's easy? <laughs> when is this? When have I ever done that anything that's easy, guys? So, anyway, guys. Miss Meet Miss Ellie May. Say hi, Ellie May. She says hi. So, anyway. I hope that you had fun playing our game and naming our pig with us and being in suspense at who gets to name the pig. And I got to name the piggy. But Olivia played a good game. Olivia did very well, sweetheart. Thank you, Mama. Well, anyway, from Olivia, Ellie Mae, and I, we thank you for, and Jeremiah, we thank you for stopping by and hanging out with us in the ark. We really appreciate you stopping by and hanging out. We hope that you have a blessed, wonderful day. We hope that you enjoy your time here. We always love having you. We love you all, and we will see you Monday, maybe tomorrow. Um, I might have a special guest tomorrow if I can get him to agree to do a video with me. Um... I don't want to assume he's going to agree to it, guys, so I'm not going to say anything more. Um, but I'm going to see if I can get him to agree to it. Um, if I can, then um, it would just be really a nice thing if he would do that for me. Um, but anyway, I hope that you all have a blessed and wonderful day. Thanks for stopping by and hanging out with the Ark. Have a beautiful day today. Have a blessed day today. We love you all and we will see you. We will see you, not, if not tomorrow, on Monday. Bye, guys.